Hi guys, how you doing? Um, it's Monday morning. Uh, I just got done with a focus ball workout, or uh, it's called a double end bag, a focus ball, a slip ball, a goofy bag. Uh, mine is just a bungee cord with a tennis ball tied in the middle of it. You can see it's about head height. Uh, but I just want to touch on some of the basics that help you move your feet. I like to work on the double slip, and I practice using springs. You know, my, my feet, my legs, and everything spring off the ground. When you see me comment like I did this morning on springs and wheels, that's when I'm, wheels is moving around, springs is compression from the ground. That's how punches are delivered. This is a fun tool for exercise, also too, for getting you to move your head and step and use angles and practice timing with your hands. So one of the best ways to start with, um, uh, like if you're standing conventional, you do a jab and a cross, and then you move your head left to right. Okay, so you'll hit, you practice moving your head. Nice and relaxed. Now, when I'm working the ball, I like to be able to have to step for it. See how I can't reach it from here? So I step and I practice making my springs. You want the ball to be able to reach you. This one's really loose. As you, you can see if I'm standing side of the camera, if I hit it, it's, it's going to whack me one. So that's what you want. You don't want them too tight. You'll see a lot of guys make them real tight, so they move really, really fast. Um, that's not my preference. I like it a lot looser because it, 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 it aids more towards real time and, and uh, timing and stuff like that. So that's just a different methodology that I prefer. Okay, so when you practice, move your head. Okay, you practice and move your head with your step. Okay, so I'm taking small step left, small step right, because I like to spring off my feet and I like to use mobility and angles. Okay, so once you get used to this, all right, now you could start practicing slip to the left, step to the right, is really what you're doing. And then you'll throw another right hand. So, so in other words, when you, when you hit it, you step here, and then you hit it. Okay, so you're practicing stepping off to the right. How far do you step? Usually your opponent's elbow. So you go one, two, when you drop, then you step off to the right elbow, and bang, and fire it in. Uh, this is a nice angle to counter somebody with, because they're the indecision as to what to do, and based on their balance, they can't recover quickly. So that's the idea. So what you're, what you're trying to do, okay? And then, of course, you'll step out again. And just practice tapping the ball. And don't try to be rhythmic and continuous with it. That kind of de defeats the purpose because the pre people don't fight like that, and you don't get attacked that way. And you're not going to move that way. But you're going to have moments. So I like to practice anywhere from two, three, four, five beats, and that's it. But I'm practicing the skill specifically, okay? So in this case, I'm angling off. So I hit and I go off, and then I can step again if I'd like, okay? Now, when you're going to your left or your inside after you double slip, you're going to double slip and then step. So when you do that, you can punch the ball, okay? So you slip, and you can practice. I like throwing two right hands. It's just a natural sequence, okay, instead of a jab cross. So you practice here. You go, one, two, three. So you just practice tagging. And it gets you used to moving and stepping again. Okay? You practice that. All right? Then you can build on those kind of things. Um, it's really all about personal preference. But as you can see, the idea is you're learning how to go to your left or to your right. And while you're punching and while you're moving. And you could do the same thing southpaw, which I do. I practice both sides. I, I have five bracing drills that I like to do with the focus ball because I'm really trying to work on long range punches. And it's just a timing tool, and it's good exercise, you know, your practice moving around, okay? So now, just a quick review, move your head, step in, move your head, okay? Then when that feels comfortable, do some stepping, drop, step, okay? So you're going to throw the right hand. And then when you want to go this way, and then it's your right hand, okay? Just practice, and you just build on that. And I'll come back later, and I'll show you some more stuff. But basically, that's what I use the double end bag for, long range punches, shifting, and angles. And uh, oh, one more thing. When you do practice shifting, what you're really doing is switching your feet, okay? Or, or you could call it a switch bump. But like if I'm standing left foot forward, and I hit, and I move my feet, now my right foot's forward, okay? That would be the shift, all right? So that's just something to think about. So in other words, you're going like this, boom, then you shift off. See how I didn't shift my feet? I'm still angled this way. But when you shift your feet, you'll be the opposite. So you'll hit, you'll move. See, now I shifted my feet. And that can count. All right, that's just something I want to talk about with the shift real quick. Again, when I come back, I'll show more drills with it. Okay? 818-987-1760 is my phone number. BillyBoston at gmail.com.
feel free to have any questions or say hello. All right, thank you. See you next time. Have a great day. Stay dry.